Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Vallone and I will be speaking to you about Flight Center, otherwise known as the Flight Center Travel Group. Over the course of this presentation, I hope to show you why you should be investing in Flight Center as it is expected to become a leaner business with greater market share by cutting operating costs and raising capital. Flight Center Travel Group is one of the world's largest travel agency groups with company-owned operations in 23 countries and a corporate-level travel management network that spans more than 90 countries. Flight Center's business is centered around helping customers book their dream vacations with services to help them book hotels, flights, tours, cruises. Flight Center's business is both an online and storefront operation. By 2035, Flight Center aims to become the world's largest and most successful corporate travel group, operating in more than 50 countries and employing more than 80,000 people across the globe. In 2019, Flight Center's revenue was $3,066,000,000, with a 4.8% growth rate from the previous year and with market capitalization of around $2 billion, which is relatively high compared to other companies in the market. Moving into 2020, we have seen the devastating effects of the coronavirus on the global economy, especially the travel industry. And as you can imagine, it hit Flight Center stock pretty hard. The Flight Center stock is in a current decline due to the COVID-19 outbreak. With a closing price of $9.94 on April 21st, 2020, Normally, the average stock price for Flight Center is $56.15, with an average low of $43.67, and an average high of $67. This graph shows a sudden decline in stock price starting in February and rapidly declining in March. Then, at the end, you can see a slight incline in the price. When looking at the relative valuation analysis, we can see that Flight Center has a healthy enterprise value over EBITDA at 10.1. The valuation summary done by JP Morgan places Flight Center's market capitalization at 3,468.93 million. It is also important to note that Flight Center had a dividend yield of 9% in 2019 which is a relatively high dividend yield for a travel company. Due to coronavirus, travel around the world is being shut down. Flight Center needed to create a way to make sure the business will make it through the pandemic. Flight Center plans on closing 45% of its Australian stores and 62% of its global stores to reduce monthly operating costs to $65 million per month. This, by closing this many stores, Flight Center will pivot the business towards an online travel operation. From closing this many stores, Flight Center has undertaken $700 million capital raising and increased debt facilities by $200 million. Flight Center understands that some transaction value will be lost, but it will allow for a more efficient network. There are some risks to investing into Flight Center. Favorable or unfavorable changes in the level of online promotions by hotels and airlines. There are favorable or unfavorable changes in domestic and global travel spending. There's strong or weak consumer confidence in Australia. Abilities or features to execute on, on offshore growth strategies and FX movements. COVID-19 is creating major uncertainty for Flight Center. Also, the upside from this risk could come from the rapid containment of the virus, but the downside could come from further spreading the virus. Flight Center believes restrictions on domestic travel in Australia could be lifted in two to three months. Corporate travel should pick back up by July, and international travel is looking at September or October. Flight Center has indicated Chinese business is restarting as conditions in China are slowly starting to return to normal. Just like how there was improvement in earnings margins that occurred after both SARS and GFC. In conclusion, Flight Center is a travel agency that is moving in a new direction because of COVID-19. Flight Center is taking advantage of further moving their business online to reduce operating costs while also using online as a way to work around 
the minimal revenue coming into the business during the pandemic. Many people are already talking about how eager they are to travel once quarantine is finished. Once the travel restrictions are lifted, Flight Center's stock price should return to average. That is why this is the best time to buy into Flight Center.